Has any one of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the Torah is accursed. An academian he was, who came to Yahusha by night, being one of them, said to them, Does our Torah judge the man unless it hears first from him and knows what he is doing? They answered and said to him, Are you also from Galil? Search and see that no Nabi has risen out of Galil. And each one went to his own house. Chapter 8, Yohanan, where he talks about Satan. Oh, Yahusha went into the Mount of Olives, and at dawn he came again into the Mikdash, and all the people were coming to him. And having sat down, he was teaching them. And the scribes of the Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in a tree. Oh, we have tons of women that love being adulterers. We have tons of women that love to take the clothes off and, and say that they're artists and musicians and actors and things like this all over television. So this should not be abnormal, an abnormal sentence or chapter to any of us, right? And having put her in the mist, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. And then the Torah Moshe commanded us that such should be stoned. Hmm. That's different what people say today. People want to pay the woman to continue getting naked and showing herself, etc. Completely different. See how times have changed? My, my, my. What then do we say? And this they said, trying him so that they might accuse him. But Yahusha bending down wrote on the ground with the finger as though he did not hear. So Yahusha ignored them. But as they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him be the f to throw a stone at her. And bending down again, he wrote on the ground, He wrote on the ground, And when they heard it <laughs> being reproved by conscience, so they snapped out of that wanting to attack somebody because he snapped them back into reality by saying, He who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. So they all were sinners, but they were trying to stone this woman who was caught for adultery, which is a sin. But they were sinners too, and they didn't want any stones thrown at them. So he woke them up and snapped them back into reality. And when they heard it being reproved by conscience, went out one by one, beginning from the older ones until the last. And Yahusha was left alone, and the woman standing in the middle, and Yahusha straightening up and seeing no one but the woman, and said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Did no one condemn you? And she said, No one, Adonai. And Yahusha said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Therefore Yahushua spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall by no means walk in darkness, hallelujah, but possess the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said to him, You bear witness about yourself? Your witness is not true. Yahushua answered and said to them, Even if I witness concerning myself, my witness is true, for I know where I came from and where I am going but you do not know from where I come or where I go. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. But even if I do judge, my judgment is true, because I am not alone, but I, the Father who sent me. And in your Torah also, it has been written that the witness of two men is true. I am one who witnesses concerning myself and the Father who sent me witnesses concerning me. Therefore they said to him, Where is your Father? Yahushua answered, You know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would have known my Father also. These words Yahushua spoke in treasury, teaching in the Mikdash, and no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. Therefore Yahushua said to them, Again, I am going away, and you shall seek me, and you shall die in your sin. Where I go, you are unable to come. Then the Yahudim said,
kill himself because he says, Where I go, you are unable to come. Ha 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 ha. And he said to them, You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. Therefore I said to you, that you shall die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you shall die in your sins. Then they said to him, Who are you? And Yahushua said to them, Altogether that which I even say to you. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness. Wow. He is so graceful with the snapback. Not aggressive, at, like aggressive, but graceful. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> they said to him, Who are you? And Yahushua said to them all together, That which I even say to you. Who am I? Who are you? Basically. I have much to say and to judge concerning you. But he who sent me is true. And what I heard from him, these I speak to the world. I spoke to them of the Father. Obviously. So Yahisha said to them, When you lift up the band of Adam, the son of Adam, then you shall know that I am he. When you lift him up, when you worship Yahusha, the true name, know him, spend your life with him, study with him, let him show you what living on this earth is truly about, how beautiful life can truly be, and blessed, full of miracles and abundance and just, just everything that you could never imagine. And just the opposite of whatever is now, but better, way better, way higher, may, like everything on a higher frequency, just amazing. Hallelujah. I am he, and that I do not of myself, but as my Father taught me. These I speak, and he who sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. As he was speaking these words, many believed in him. So Yahushua said to those Yahudim who believed in him, If you stay in my word, you are truly my Talmudim. Talmudim means disciple in ancient Paleo-Hebrew. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are the seed of Abraham and have been servants to no one at any time. How do you say, Come free? Yahushua answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone doing sin is a servant of sin. Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone doing sin is a servant of sin. Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone doing sin is a servant of sin. And the servant does not stay in the house forever. The son stays forever. If then the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are the seed of Abraham, but you seek to kill me. Because my word has no place in you. I speak what I have seen with my father. And you do what you have heard from your father. They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Yahushua said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has spoken to you the truth, which I heard from Elohim. Abraham did not do this. You do the works of your father. Then they said to him, We are not born of whoring. We have one father, Elohim. Yahushua said to them, If Elohim were your father, you would love me. For I came forth from Elohim and am here. For I have not come of myself, but he who sent me. Why do you not know what I say? Because you are unable to hear my word. You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and has not stood in truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks the lie, 
he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I speak the truth, you do not believe me. Who of you proves me wrong concerning sin? And if I speak the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of Elohim hears the words of Elohim. Therefore you do not hear because you are not of Elohim. The Aodim answered and said to him, Do we not say well that you are a Shemarite and have a demon? Yahusha answered, I do not have a demon, but I value my father, and you do not value me. And I do not seek my own esteem. There is one who is seeking and is judging. Truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone guards my word, he shall never see death at all. The Yahudim said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died in the Nabim, and you say, If anyone guards my word, he shall never taste death at all. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? And the Nabim died. Who do you make yourself? And Yahusha answered, If I esteem myself, my esteem is none at all. Mm. It is my father who esteems me, of whom you say that he is your Elohim, and you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say I do not know him, I shall be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I guard his word. Your father Abraham was glad that he should see my day, and he saw it and rejoiced. The Ayurim, therefore, you are not fifty years old. And have you seen Abraham? Yahushua said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. Therefore they picked up stones to throw at him. But Yahushua was hidden and went out of the Mikdash going through the mist of them. And so passed by. And passing by, he saw a man blind from birth. And his Talmudim asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man of his parents, that he should be born blind? Yahusha answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of Elohim God might be made manifest in him. It is necessary for me to work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one is able to work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said this, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva and applied the clay to the eyes of the blind man. And he said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Shalohah, which translated is sent, the pool of scent. So he went and washed and came seeing. Therefore the neighbors and those who saw him for that he was blind said, Is this not he who was sitting and begging? Others said, this is he. <laughs> Others, he is like them. He said, I am. So they said to him, How are your eyes opened? Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. He said and answered, A man called Yahusha made clay and applied it to my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Shalom and wash. And I went and washed and I received sight. And they said to him, well, where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the one who was once blind. Now it was a Shabbat when Yahushua made the clay and opened his eyes. Well, I know they're about to get mad. Let's keep reading. Therefore, the Pharisees also asked him again how he had received his sight. He said to them, he put clay on my eyes and I washed and I see. 